May 1st, 2015 from Roosevelt University in Chicago, Illinois. It was the 2015 NFL Draft, and with the 36th overall pick, the 4th pick in the 2nd round, the Jacksonville Jaguars select TJ Yeldon, the running back from Alabama. He's 6'1", 226 pounds, and while he was at the Tide, he played there 3 years, and in those 3 years, he had 37 touchdowns, 3,322 rushing yards, as well as 494 receiving yards and 2 receiving touchdowns. That's a total of 3,816 yards from scrimmage and 39 total touchdowns. And in his 3 years there, he scored over 10 touchdowns in each of his 3 seasons, and he fell just 21 yards shy of having all three seasons go over the century mark as he rushed for over a thousand in his freshman and sophomore seasons but last year as a junior like I said 21 yards shy of the century mark and he actually he went from averaging over six yards a carry to down to five yards a carry in his final year let's look at his combine numbers at the combine his 40 yard dash was 4.61 seconds he put up 22 bench reps he also, uh, his vertical jump 36 inches, his broad jump 117 inches, his three cone drill 7.19 seconds, and his 20 yard shuttle 4.22 seconds. At his pro day, he did manage to, you know, trim off a tenth of a second off of his time, just about getting it down to 4.52 seconds at the 40 yard dash. But he's definitely, you know, he's a good running back, in my opinion. He's a second team all. SEC, his first team all SEC in his sophomore season. But the Jaguars definitely needed a running back. You know, they were handing the ball off to Denard Robinson last year. And Robinson, of course, played quarterback while he was a Wolverine. He's kind of more a receiver. He's really a playmaker, not really a guy you want as your number one, you know, rusher. So definitely Jacksonville needed to get a running back. And I think they did an excellent job waiting into the second round and getting a talent such as TJ Yelton. I think he's one of the more talented uh, backs, you know, in the draft, you know, especially that was available. You know, there is a little bit of a question, like I said, about his production, you know, going down a little bit in his junior year. But still, if he can produce like he did in his junior year, he'll be a huge improvement for the Jaguars in their backfield. So, you know, uh, and I think part of that is too with Alabama being a little bit more of a passing team in this past year. You know, definitely with Amari Cooper, he was getting the ball a lot. So, you know, I think in his sophomore season, it was more of the, the opportunities he was given. If you actually look, he did have more rushes in his sophomore season, not by many, but he had, you know, 13 more rushes. But anyway, uh, like I said, I think he's a good back. And Alabama's known to produce some pretty good backs. I mean, we see Eddie Lacy in Green Bay. If he can, have, you know, fill a similar role with Jacksonville, I said I think he'll definitely be a good fit. That's my opinion, anyway. You know, I hope he does have a good you know, career in Jacksonville. I said I definitely see a lot of potential in T.J. Yelton going to the next level. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about TJ Yell and what you think about the Jaguars selecting him, about them selecting a running back. Like I said, I thought it was an excellent pick by Jacksonville. Let me know, though, what you think, because I'm definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day, and have a good weekend, and enjoy all the sports.